Hi everyone, welcome to the session. In this session, I am continuing the problems related to permutations and combinations. In the last session, we already discussed a few problems related to permutations and combinations. Uh, let's continue in the last session. See the first question which is given in this session. See, the number of new words that can be formed by rearranging the letters of the word alive. Here, the words, uh, the word which is given as alive, the word which is given as alive, total how many letters, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, total 5 letters are there and the question which is asking is, uh, find the number of new words that can be formed, find the number of uh, new words that can be formed by rearranging the letters of the word alive, here by using all these uh, five letters uh, basically we can form uh, how many words see if there are five letters and we can arrange those uh, five letters in five places uh, in five factorial ways five letters are there and five places are there that can be happened in five factorial ways uh, and uh, if you observe carefully there is no letter is repeated uh, more than a single time here no letter is repeated twice so we should not be divided with any of the number so the required uh, value should be these five letters can be arranged in these five places in a uh, five factorial ways what is meant by five factorial 120 five factorial is equal to 120 but the question which is asking is if you observe the, the question carefully find the number of the number of new words we need to calculate the new words here the word which is given as alive except this one you need to count the remaining new words 120 minus 1 why i am subtracting 1 because already the word alive is given except that one we need to find the number of new words so, because of that reason, I need to subtract 1 from that. So, the required answer for this question, 119 new words are formed by rearranging the letters of the word alive, 119. That is the required answer for this question. Hope you understand. Here, there is a lot of difference between find the number of words formed and find the number of new words formed new words in the sense you need to subtract one and words in the sense directly your answer is 120 next question see here a bag contains two white balls three black balls and four red balls two white three black and uh, four red balls in how many ways can three balls be drawn from the bag we need to draw total Three, blo three balls uh, from the bag if at least uh, one black ball is to be included uh, in the draw here the condition which is mentioned is uh, at least one black ball should be there at least one black in the sense uh, total if you observe there is a combination of white balls and uh, black balls and also red balls total nine balls are there out of the black balls are uh, 3 and remaining are uh, remaining 6 are different colors uh, 2 white and 4 red at least 1 black 1 black in the sense I can select 1 black ball remaining 2 balls uh, from any of the 6 ok 1 black 2 black and uh, all 3 are blacks Th total 3 possible cases first I will take first possible case if I am selecting one black ball, total we are having three black balls. I am selecting one out of three, three C one ways. Suppose if I am selecting two black balls, three C two ways. Suppose if I am selecting three, all three are black balls, three C three ways. And next, if there are two black balls and uh, remaining two from any of the six uh, C, whether it is uh, white color or as red color it doesn't matter we need to select uh, two balls from these two categories that is six balls uh, selecting two balls out of six six c2 product of these two that will gives you the first way answer and uh, here already two black balls are selected 
and uh, still we must uh, select only one ball out of uh, six. Uh, selecting one ball out of six that is happened in 61. And here already all three balls are black balls. Uh, so there is no requirement of selecting uh, one more ball from remaining colors. Uh, now calculate the answer. 3C1 is equal to 3. Next 6C2. 6 into 5 divided by 2 factorial. Here it is 3 times uh, 3 into 5, 15. 15 into 3, 45. First way answer 45. And uh, 3C2 and 3C1 both the values are same. Why? Because NCR is equal to NC N minus R. NCR is equal to NC N minus R. Therefore, 3C1 is equal to 3C2. 3C1 is equal to 3C2. Both values are same only. Now, here 3C1 value is already 3. So, 3C2 is also 3. 6C1 which is equal to 6. That is equal to 18. Next, 3C3. 3C3 is equal to 1. So, the required answer is 1. Now, after you are getting the individual way, you need to add all the values. Why? Because you are getting the answer in three different possible ways. So, after getting the each and every individual value, you need to add all the values. See here, 8 plus 1, 9, 9 plus 5, 14 and uh, 1 is the carry here. 1 plus 1, 2, 2 plus 4, 6, 64. 64 is the required answer for this question. In 64 ways, we can select uh, 3 balls uh, so that the condition which is given as at least one black ball is to be included in the draw. And the meaning of at least uh, is nothing but minimum. At least means uh, minimum. At most means maximum. Next one. In how many ways can the letters of the word capital in how many ways? Can the letters of the word capital be arranged in such a way that all the vowels are come together? In how many ways can the letters of the word capital be arranged in such a way that all the vowels are come together? First of all, write down uh, what are the letters which are there. C, A, P, I, T, A, L. Total these are the seven letters uh, in the given word capital. Now, according to the given condition, all vowels are come together. Here the vowels are A, I, A. These are the vowels which are come together. Come together in the sense always we need to take uh, those vowels as single entity and the remaining are consonants C, P, T, L. These are the four consonants and three vowels. According to the condition, all vowels come together. We need to take these three vowels as single entity. Now, we can arrange four consonants plus one single entity, five. These five letters can be arranged in five factorial ways. And again, and again, within this single entity, we are having three letters, three vowels. These three vowels can be arranged in three factorial ways, uh, but out of those three vowels, uh, one vowel A is repeated twice. One vowel A is repeated twice, so that uh, you need to divide with uh, two factorial. You need to divide with uh, two factorial. Therefore, five factorial into three factorial by two factorial. This is our required answer. Once we will calculate the answer, five factorial means 120, 3 factorial, 6, 2 factorial, 2. Here it is uh, 2, 3 times. 120 into 3, which is equal to 360. 360 is the required answer. In 360 ways, we can arrange the letters of the word capital so that the condition which is provided in the given question, that is, uh, all vowels are come together. That is the given condition. 360 is the required answer for this question. Guys, I hope you enjoy the session. Thank you. Thank you very much for watching.